welcome to Rancho Del Zocalo. Mr. Cheesy Pop. Hey everyone, it's Max. I'm here at Rancho Del Zocalo taking you through the Valentine's and get your ears on food that they got here. There's so much, literally so much. Let's kick it off. This is the mocajete platter. This is definitely shareable, guys. You've got chorizo sausage, you've got carne asada. You, the, the, look, five shrimp, rice, fried fried cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and you do get uh, a whole thing of tortillas here, so. <laughs> this is, uh, this is pretty big. Since I've never had this before in my life, I'm like, what do I do? Do I take all of this and put it on the tortilla? Um, what do I do? I don't know. It smells amazing. There's fried cheese on here. I assume we gotta squeeze the lime on here since, uh, yeah, I gave us some lime. I wanna try the carne asada, actually. This is a real traditional Mexican dish, guys. Okay. Yum! Mmm! That steak is so good. Whoa! It's super flavorful. And really, they're not afraid with the spice here at Disneyland, ever. That's really yummy. Let's try a shrimp. Oh, <laughs> mm. I could eat like 50 of those shrimp. Oh, they're so buttery and there's so many delicious herbs on there. Look at this. Yeah, like I told you this was fried cheese, right? It like, look at this. Yeah, why not? Mmm, how about some chorizo? Woo! I am so impressed with this. This is a cactus! Let's try some cactus. Yum! Not prickly. Just delicious. Cactus just tastes like a... It's like a vegetable. It's just a vegetable. It's like a meaty green vegetable. This is like a giant platter of food, guys. Yeah. So obviously, you can choose to put them on here. Just have it by itself. If you're cutting carbs, I don't know. Um. <laughs> oh yeah. That's steak, man. Woo! And the shrimp. You guys, wait till you see what's next. Oh yeah, we got some Mickey, Mickey sofas right here. <laughs> How cute is this? Uh, and we, we, we've got chicken, and pork, and beef, and they're beautiful, crema on top. And then let me just take you right over to that, because that is the chocolate tamale. <laughs> yep. That's beautiful. Beautiful. And then here, strawberry horchata. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. My stomach's got this. So what I'll do is try a little taste here, right now for you guys, of, of each little sopa. I just had sopas in um, Mexico and Epcot for the Festival of the Arts, and uh, if you guys saw that video. So this is gonna be um, fun to see how uh, the two compare. All right, this is the chicken one. Yum. That's good. Now, the pork one. So I can already taste that these have um, much more heat than, than the ones I had in Florida, which I expected. That's yummy. Mm. Oh, the pork one is so amazing. So marinated, just like, mmm. Have uh, you guys ever had sopas? Because it's not like the most common form of Mexican food, but I don't know why, because they're so amazing. It's, you know, we're talking about all your favorite ingredients in in these, you know, fried corn shells. And it's just, it's, yeah. All right, let's try the beef. These are amazing. My favorite is the pork. So these are on the get your ears on uh, menu here at Rancho. So that means these sopas will be here for a while. You got through like the beginning of summer almost. So that's a good thing because I'm gonna come back and get them again. They're that good. Let's uh, put my fork into this so we can see how this goes. A chocolate tamale, definitely never have done that. Whoa, wow, look at this, but it's, and this is a berry compote over here. 
Oh my goodness. All right, let's try it. This is a normal corn tamale. So, um, but it's chocolate. Okay. Everything from this dish is on this fork right now. Here we go. Corn tamale, but it's chocolate. Wow. Somehow that just works. I want to have the tamale by itself without anything because I just want to taste like what a chocolate tamale tastes like plain. You know what's so wild about this? It tastes like it's cake. Like the consistency of a corn tamale, if you just put chocolate on it, tastes like you're having chocolate cake. That is weird. That's the best way I can describe it. That is really interesting. But it tastes like a corn cake. <laughs> but I like it. Yeah. Yeah, this is so good and it's unique and different and interesting and so cool that like they did this they took a chance on something like this yeah i'm impressed let's try this oh yeah it's like a tart this is pretty good refreshing on a warm day this would be frozen that's nice very tart though it's hibiscus you can see on top cinnamon in here too strawberry horchata yep uh, that's really sweet that is exactly what you'd expect if you've ever had horchata just think of it as strawberry that is that's the sweetest thing um huh. I actually <laughs> that's so much more sweet than than this actually I would be able to finish this one, but not the strawberry horchata. I am so impressed with what they did here at Rancho del Zocalo. You know, we're talking some really creative and interesting things happening here. Man, Disneyland's so amazing with the food. Obviously, if you know me, the two savory dishes are gonna be my favorite. Uh, favorite thing is uh, the, the, the sofas, the pork sofas were my favorite thing that I tried in this video. But I gotta tell you, that was Wagyu beef on, on the, the giant platter. Amazing, and the shrimp, oh yeah, buttery perfection. Ooh, and the chocolate tamale, guys, I would say go give it a try because I don't know. I've never had anything quite like that in my life. It was really interesting. If you could get past the fact that it's a tamale and it's corn, but it has this like cake kind of consistency, it, it's just, it's really interesting. Wow, uh, great job chefs. Amazing work here. Uh, you can get all of these for the two celebrations that are happening. Get your ears on, Valentine's. You can kind of, the get your ears on, just get sopas, the Valentine's, the platter, and uh, the chocolate tamale. So. Yeah, Valentine's celebration lasts only till uh, like February 18th. Get your ears on goes long until about Memorial Day. All right, guys, let me know if you've tried any of this yet. Like, subscribe, check out my Patreon page. Have a magical day, everybody. Bye.